Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to do a range test on this 2019 Tesla Model 3 that we drove 1,200 miles back from North Carolina, sight unseen, and it has over 200,000 miles on it. 207,469 miles, nice. We are in Athens, Texas at the Tesla Supercharger with 22% state of charge. There's the mileage. We're gonna do a range test. My plan is I'm going to drive on the loop on the 175 all the way up to Seagoville, right about here, turn back around, come all the way back down and then if I have enough range I'm gonna go do that loop another time and then I'm gonna loop around here until the car gets very low pull into the supercharger and see how far it'll go now we're gonna fully charge it tire pressures are set to 42 psi cold or a little a little above that I will admit my wheel is a little bit unbalanced in the rear because a wheel weight fell off so it might skew the efficiency a little bit it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit we have a five mile an hour wind so basically no wind so yeah we are gonna plug in so let's go plug in charging and yes i have installed a tow hitch but that will not affect the range that will not affect the range 140 50 so we are going to charge this to 100 percent where it clicks off supercharging we're going to do the range test so yeah i'm my prediction is since this car is fairly degraded i'm guessing it has about 60 three kilowatt hours of capacity i'm gonna guess it's gonna do 180 miles at highway speed or more that's my prediction it might be a little less we are gonna actually run 68 degrees on auto which i don't normally use auto but we will use auto for the range test no heated seats no nothing like that no fancy stuff so here's a little bit of information about the car this is a 2019 tesla model 3 long range all-wheel drive with the 19 inch non-aero but sport wheels so not the most efficient configuration the most efficient would have been the rear wheel drive with the aero wheels but that's not what this car is but i also wanted the all-wheel drive because what i'm going to be doing to it involves all-wheel drive charging is complete Tesla theater down. Let's do crap. Uh, trips and then do uh, not that. Do this trip A. Uh, we'll rename this to range test. Reset that. So we're resetting the range test. And we added 48 kilowatt hours and we started at 21%. So let's see. We're going to head down towards Seagoville. Yeah. So let's uh, unplug. Okay. Trip is reset, car is unplugged. 68 degrees auto. We're gonna put the car into chill mode. Charging limit is set to 100. Controls, trip is reset. I'll check that again. I'll just reset this double to make sure. Uh, we'll turn sentry mode off. All right, let's go. We are in chill mode to save maximum energy. So the regenerative braking is limited because the battery is fully charged. You can hear the fans cooling the battery. Probably burning some energy. I'm gonna to try to drive extremely gently. I do not want to waste range. Now there is a section on this drive that is 55 miles an hour. I need to check with GPS verification that it that 70 is actually 70. I think I think 71 is 70. I could be wrong. to take a leak in a restroom but what did happen is we hit we're at 71 percent we've went 58 miles so let's get back on the range test We are at 50% state of charge. We've traveled 97 miles, used 28 kilowatt hours, and we have done 280, or we're doing 289 watt hours per mile. Uh, so fairly good efficiency. We're at 
25% state of charge. We've done 146 miles, we've used 42 kilowatt hours, and we are doing 289 watt hours per mile. We are at 10% state of charge. We have went 174 miles, burned 51 kilowatt hours, and have, are doing 291 watt hours per mile. We're on the 175 heading towards the Athens Loop. Um, my plan is 3% is estimated to the Taco Casa, which is the gas station with the supercharger. We'll loop around the loop probably one time, and then we are gonna go to the charger because I think that one loop will use up the buffer because the loop is 17 miles. Okay, we are merging onto the Athens loop. We're gonna make one full loop around the loop at 70 miles an hour. 70, 5% state of charge. I had to pull over and delete stuff from my camera roll on my phone because it ran out of space. Anyway, there's a gap in traffic here. Slowly get up to speed. Okay, there's someone behind us now. 1% state of charge at 191 miles traveled, 56 kilowatt hours used. but I'm on like the wrong side of it to get to the supercharger. Oh wait, I'm foot to the floor and I can't get up to 70 up this hill. I'm gonna keep trying to go around and we'll see. It says I have the unable to drive warning, but to be fair, when we had that in Athens the first time, we made it all the way back to Houston, or all the way to Eustis. Pulled 62 kilowatt hours out of the pack. Uh, okay, you might want to get the trailer because I have no power now. Or just barely. I'm doing 63 and I'm petered out. It's a trailer. Yeah. past the hospital. I'm almost to, no, I'm, I'm on the, I'm almost to the Malakoff exit. Oh, pull over safely, vehicle shutting down. Uh, 213 miles since last charge and I have no power anymore. onto the trailer. All right, we're dead in the water. 213 miles since last charge. I wasn't intending to run out, but we did run out. So, 
gotta send him a pin. Yeah, so I just have to wait patiently now. So the car died, I think we did 213 miles at uh, close to 70. Yeah, 213 miles pulled 62 kilowatt hours. Uh, 291 watt hour per mile. So it says a 62 kilowatt hour battery, which means the degradation is, I think, about 18% or something like that. It's just me mental messing it. It could be more, it could be less. But for 200,000 miles, that's not too bad at all. That's more capacity than a standard range Model 3. So, yeah, but 214 miles of real world highway range on an old Tesla, I think, is pretty good. So you can see on this map here, we actually open up Google Maps itself, that we died here in the loop, and the charger is over here at that Taco Casa. So we died on pretty much the exact opposite side of the loop we needed to be on. Well, here's my rescue truck. Here's where it all started, the Taco Casa with the supercharging station. Open the door, Mom! Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, yeah, perfect. Will it open? Uh-oh. Open. There we go. Charging, yay. Let's see what it pulls as far as kilowatt goes. Well, the screen is incredibly dim, I can't even tell. It did not precondition, so 123. Yeah, but we did 213 miles, 62 kilowatt hours, used 290, one watt hour per mile. Pretty good, obviously you can see right here. That's probably when I was letting off the throttle to charge it, but yeah, juicing up. Charge. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all in the next video. Bye.